What is going on, all my fellow entrepreneurs out there? My name is Dom Marachi, and today, guys, you already know what's up. It is Wednesday, so we are doing Wednesday winners. This time, it is part seven, Valentine's Day edition. Young Dom guys make sure you stay till the end of this video so you can find out all of the ways I'm going to be telling you guys how you can make thousands of dollars this Valentine's Day and even the weeks um, coming up before it all of that is gonna be covered in this video today so I really would suggest staying till the end and if you do get something valuable out of the video and want to be entered into Friday's free consulting call giveaway all you got to do is like the video comment down below and make sure you're subscribed and have the notification bell ticked but with all that out of the way guys i don't want to waste any more of your time let's jump right into my computer and go over this valentine's day winner all right guys so we're in my laptop now and we can go over this so wednesday winners part seven the gold plated rose so guys this week's winner is the gold plated valentine's day rose now, if you guys have been drop shipping for a while, then you guys will know that these types of products always blow up during Valentine's Day and the weeks leading up to it. So if you guys don't believe me, here are how many times the product has been ordered today alone. Let me go to the product page here. So as you guys can see, here is the product. Like I said, it is these gold plated roses and you can actually attach it to this little love thing and put it on a desk and everything. But here are the orders, guys. So today it is the morning of January 16th. Um, and they still have a good amount of orders on the 16th, but what I want to show you guys is the 15th. So as you guys can see, pay attention to how many times you see January 15th, and I am just scrolling through pages, guys, pages and pages and pages of how many times this product is actually being ordered per day. I'm on number seven now, still going, and I don't see a 14. Awesome. So on page eight, we see that on January 14th was the last order. So as you guys can see, there's about five or six pages just from yesterday of this product being sold. So now let's get back to this presentation. So as you guys can see, it's only January 15th. So Valentine's Day isn't for another month and this still is popping off now. So now we know the product is hot and will sell. So now let's go over how you guys should go about selling this on your store. So first guys, what I wanted to do was go over the price. So one of the best things about this specific product, guys, is that it ships from the US or China. What I would highly suggest and what I would highly recommend is shipping it from the United States, especially because people will be stressed to get it by Valentine's Day. And if the orders take too long, if they're held up in China for whatever reason, you will have a lot of refunds on your hands, guys. So if you ship it from the United States, it costs you a total of $7.29. So what I would do is come in at $19.99 and charge $2.95 for what's called expedited premier shipping and label that it is a three to five day shipping method. Now, also guys, what I would do is come in and give the option to the customer for the cheaper option saying it's free premier shipping, but it is 12 to 20 days. So you guys are giving them the option of if they want to pay less, but take the risk of it not coming in time. Or if they just want to pay a little bit extra, they can get it in within a week and they know that they will have it by Valentine's Day. But either way, guys, you will be netting just over $15 per sale, which is great. Now, guys, make sure after you figure out the pricing and you have it listed on your store that you're looking at the competition for this specific product. So one thing you guys can do is go to Google and type in Valentine's Day gold rose or gold plated rose, all the different types of keywords you could think of, and then just type in plus Shopify. This will give you guys some great examples of stores that are killing it with this product, and you can take some great inspiration for you and your own store. Now, don't copy exactly, guys. Like I always say, never exactly copy. Just take what they're doing and improve upon it. So it's very easy. You guys can see um, that all you have to do is Google that, and you can see all the different sites out there that are selling this product. So one thing I could suggest, guys, is make sure you are upselling them by saying that they can get free premier shipping, again, the three to five day option, if their order is over $30. So I've covered this in so many different types of videos, guys. Almost all of my Wednesday winners, I cover this topic, and I have an exact video all over this topic, but you're gonna be using free Hextum bar by, no, you're gonna be using free shipping bar by Hextum, and that app is amazing. I just spit, and I don't know if you saw that fly all the way over there, but whatever. That app is amazing, guys, and it really, really will help you upsell your customers by promising them free shipping if they order more than one, or if they order a different product. Leading me to that point, also guys, make sure to have plenty of other products related to Valentine, uh, Valentine's Day, like jewelry, 
decorations, gifts, teddy bears, all the things you can think of. Honestly, go on AliExpress and type in Valentine's Day and see what comes up. Add all those products, guys, because if someone's interested in buying something for Valentine's Day, it's really not that hard to sell them on something else, especially if it isn't too much more expensive and if it gets them free shipping. After you are all set, guys, the product is listed, the pricing is all correct, the store is professional and clean, the upsells are correctly in place, now it is time to market. So now you guys can either sell on Instagram with shout outs or on both platforms through Facebook ads. For you guys, I would recommend going which, with whichever one you have seen better results with. Either way, guys, a video ad should be the goal. If a video ad just for whatever reason can't be made, then a really, really, really high quality picture can definitely work. You just have to make sure it is a very, very, very good picture and it demonstrates exactly what the product is. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but on the product page itself, the supplier actually provided some sort of a little basic video that you guys can use maybe a few clips from in order to really make a nice video. He shows what the rose is and how it can be put into the little love thing and all of that. So there really is an excuse there isn't an excuse for you guys not to find an amazing video or at least create one. Now there are video ads on Facebook guys. So go on Facebook, type in 24 K gold plated rose or Valentine's day rose, and you can find all these videos. You can use my strategy on how I take existing video ads on Facebook and make them into my own unique video ad using iMovie. And I did give you guys a link to the video. By the way, this PDF, actually this document is gonna be open to you guys through Google Docs. So if you guys are interested in seeing this exactly all out in front of you, it's gonna be the first link in the description and I really think that can help you guys out. But anyway, after you have your video ad, now it is time to decide. So Instagram shoutouts or Facebook ads. So like I said, guys, whichever one you're more comfortable with, I think you should go with for this because you are limited on time. Valentine's Day is only a month away, so you don't wanna waste time learning anything. You wanna go with what's working and which and with what's proven to work for you and your business. But if you guys go to Instagram shout outs, I have a few suggestions of some pages that I think will do absolutely amazing. So any relationship pages, guys, there's thousands of pages like this out there. Couples pages, kind of the same thing. Meme pages are amazing for this kind of stuff. Love pages and teens pages. So anything like that, guys, around relationships, couples, you know, young kids, memes, all of that, I think that will do very, very well because you're keeping it very broad because you don't know exactly who this is for, but you know that people are gonna be buying things for Valentine's Day. So like I um, always say with Instagram, guys, is start small. So maybe, you know, 50 to 100,000 followers and then continue to test on these small pages until you find an ad and an ad copy that works. So if it works, all it means is that it's profitable. So that's all you have to do. Once you do and you find something that works, then take that exact ad, the exact ad copy and everything and slowly begin to put it on bigger pages ultimately scaling your numbers by increasing the audience size that you're reaching. Now guys, if you're gonna be going with Facebook ads, this is my suggestion to you. I would stay super broad with your targeting. So have big, big audiences of millions of different people and really see from there where you can go. So initially guys, I would target Valentine's Day, people who are in relationships. So if you guys don't know, you can actually target people based on their relationship status on Facebook. I would also do Netflix, maybe World Star, Starbucks, all of these big, big interests, because again, we don't know exactly who this product is for. From there guys, make sure your ad really sells them on the fact that this is the perfect Valentine's Day gift. So it's not gonna be mainly who you're targeting, it's gonna be more of how well you're selling this product. So. From there guys, see where your sales are coming from and make sure to be making more ad sets that are exactly like the ones that are winning for you. So, you know, if it's doing very well, do the same age, do the same genders, the same platform, just choose a similar interest and only change that within the ad set. So continue this process every day from now on in order to have a bunch of winning ad sets that will bring you in so much money on autopilot for the next month, guys. I'm not even kidding. If you find an interest in an ad that works now, you can sell that well up until Valentine's Day and even the week of because this product ships from the United States, guys. So you can literally sell it up until maybe February 7th, 8th, 9th, and then after that say, we can no longer guarantee Valentine's Day delivery, although we will do everything we can in order to get you the product on the day you desire. Like I've been saying guys, it is very important that if you guys plan on selling this product, that you start now. 
absolutely now. <laughs> this will allow you guys time to find winning shout out pages or winning ad sets and be well prepared for the week of Valentine's Day. This is when your sales are going to skyrocket during the last week. So after Valentine's Day, guys, you can continuously run this store and sell jewelry, gifts, holiday decor, and maybe make it like a seasonal store that you continuously change. Or you can sell the store and double your profit for the month you were running the store. So say, for example, guys, after it's all said and done, after Valentine's Day is over, you have put about $10,000 in sales on the store. You guys can easily come in and try to sell that store from anywhere from $2,000 to $5,000. And I've done that myself with similar numbers, and I promise you that is the numbers you guys can get. So say out of that 10,000 in revenue, revenue, you netted maybe four grand out of that. That's a very, very good profit margin, 40%. Then from there, guys, if you sell the store for another 4,000, you're literally doubling your profit from that month on the store. So either way, whether you guys continue marketing on this store or you sell it, I think that will put you guys in a great scenario moving forward. So, but, be, but with this product in general, guys, the key is to keep testing. If something doesn't work at first, that doesn't mean that the product is dead. It means that there are some things you need to work on. It is up to you as the entrepreneur and the business owner to figure out exactly what isn't working and how to fix it. But that is it, guys. Good luck to all of you that decide to test this. And thanks for being the best subscribers out there. Make sure to take action and make a killing with this product, guys. I promise this will do so, so well for you. If you do get some results, just DM me on Instagram. I really would appreciate seeing that I did help you guys out. And I do appreciate you guys tuning in. I will see you guys in Friday's video where I give out another free consulting call. Hope you guys are all excited to see that. And I'll see you guys then. Peace.